Uh, let's check in with Tim now. He's made some new friends today. Oh, yeah, some that we just couldn't do. Um, he's been traveling the world of reptiles. That's right. Tim, how's it going? Hey, guys, I'm sitting... You still have I'm all your sitting favorites? with the kindergartners here. I feel like I'm back in school. Yeah, all my fans <laughs> at St. Clement School, and they just pulled out a huge snake. <laughs> Dave Donasso with Dave Donasso's Traveling World of Reptiles. Dave, Dave, I've got a question. Teacher, can I ask a question? Can I ask a question, please? Oh, okay, I got to come up there. Uh, thank you. So, oh my. <laughs> what do you got here? All right, this is a reticulated python. It's actually the longest snake species on the planet. They're quite capable of reaching lengths of over 20 feet, sometimes closer to 25 feet, and they can weigh over 200 pounds. This is a snake that can take down a deer. Oh, no. what? Wow. 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 But how many reptiles do you have in your home personally? I used to have a lot more than I do. Right now, probably about 40. Uh, but when I was doing this before, I had employees uh, over 100. And your wife is not a fan, right? She's not, but I keep the animals in a private room where nobody can see them. If you walked in my house, you would not smell one, you would not see one, and that's how I want it. When I get home from work, no animals. I don't want them. <laughs> All right, who touched, who touched one of the animals that I could talk to over here? Go ahead, stand up. Go ahead, stand up. What, what's your name? What do you think? What do you think of that animal? What animal? Which one did you touch? Both. Both? It was a lizard. What was it, Dave? A lizard and, yeah, and a gator. What did it feel like? Scaly. Scaly? <laughs> That's a good description. All right. You guys like this show? Yeah. Yeah? What's your favorite part? Um, when we got to touch the alligator. Got to touch the alligator. Who's going to touch this huge snake? Only oh, me, me, me. These kids are brave. Is this, is, would you say this is the highlight for the kids? You know what? It's funny because I do ask the kids what their favorite animal is, and I always get different answers. Sometimes they like the tiniest animal, and, and others like the giant snake or alligator. So it's just, it depends. Uh, I, I, I know the kid back at the station, Terrence, he loves snakes, so he's going to just enjoy seeing this. Yeah, well, I, you know, the favor that you asked me to go into the studio after, uh, you know, after you guys are done, I'm, I'm going to put it around his waist and his neck. So. Oh, that sounds like a great idea. Yeah. What do you tell people, though, seriously, that are afraid of snakes? You never try to force this on anybody, right? No, I don't. I tell people that uh, you should respect them, not like them. There's a huge difference between liking an animal and respecting the animal. <laughs> Simply respecting the animal is to not go out of your way to harm it if it's not bothering you. It's far enough away from you and your property that it doesn't pose a threat because of how important they are to the environment. So, no, we never force anybody. All right, so we're interrupting a show. We're going to cut this off here. But first, tell people how they can get a hold of you if they want to get a show like this. I got the coolest phone number on the planet, 888-SLITHER. You can also go on <laughs> Facebook, Traveling World of Reptiles. We have a really awesome, uh, kind of separate, uh, it's our YouTube channel called Nature in Your Face. In fact, I might, the first person <laughs> to subscribe to our channel, make a comment, we're going to give you a free show. So. Oh, speaking yeah. of that, I just saw you were in Singapore. What were you trying to get there? Uh, we were filming King Cobras. We just did an episode on King Cobras. King Cobras. Yeah, one of the most dangerous snakes on the planet. But only if you're foolish enough to grab one and pick one up. Because it's hard to find one. They're very secretive, and they want to slither away from you. So yeah, I thought I had a cool job. This is even cooler. Thanks so much, Dave. <laughs> Thank you, guys, for letting us crash your party here this morning. Appreciate it. Thank you, Fox News! Back to you guys. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm just so I, I'm amazed that those kids didn't, like, run out of there when it was coming down to the ground. <laughs> They're brave. Yeah. Brave bunch of kids. I think that's one of the longest snakes I've ever seen. Yeah. The thing looks 20 feet long. <laughs> All right, Tim, be careful. Thank you. I say that with sarcasm. 